Hello everyone watching this video, hope you're having a beautiful day. I know it's been a while since the last time I uploaded a predictions video, a lot of things have been happening in my life and I obviously had to give them higher priority. A while ago, I talked about Nintendo potentially removing the region locked Korokora gear that was only available for players in Japan, in which that alone gives us a reason to be excited. But here is another reason for us to be excited for Splatoon 3, the medals. That's right, S3 now has medals. The first time we've ever seen this type of thing in the Splatoon series. These are obtained by contributing in turf and ranked matches, whether by most ink, most kills, most DCs, you name it. But one thing that piques my curiosity is if they're simply just there for show, or do they serve a purpose? And that is exactly what we're going to talk about for today's topic. For today's prediction, I'll be guessing if these medals mean something of value when it comes to gaining more XP for leveling up. Now, we all know how to gain XP. You have to play Turf Wars, Ranked, and League battles. If you're starting out as a new player, leveling up shouldn't take you too much time until you reach around 30. Because from that point, it'll take a lot of time for players to level up. Sure, Splatoon has XP tickets, but they go away pretty quickly. Getting those tickets is a major pain in the bum since you have to play Samurai constantly to get a chance to get a ticket. And to make it even worse, it's not even a guarantee, therefore it wastes even more time for you to grind. There are also the freshness bonuses where if you get a specific rank with a weapon, then you get lots of XP. But even after, you still have a whole mount to climb in the Himalayas, but I digress. My point is that Splatoon 3 needs a better leveling system, because the previous ones are tedious and repetitive. Obviously this doesn't apply to everyone, this is simply my own opinion on the matter. If you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine. I just personally don't like it. These medals could become a game changer, whether depending on the type of medals you receive, you could get varying amounts of XP like 500, 1000, or even 3000 if you're lucky. In the release date trailer, we could see that the player has received three different medals, one where you have to be the person who ain't the most turf, one being the most targeted person, and one where you get the most amount of kills. Getting three medals isn't something that's just going to be given to you, it's something you're going to have to work for. Imagine getting 500 XP for each medal you get, it's something that can encourage the player to do stuff. It's only a matter of time for us to understand what these medals are for. I do want to know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Do you think these medals are only achievements, or they can give something of value? Thank you for watching, bye!